I only wanted to sneak in and out. Now I know what it is to be president, Tinubu says in Abiyokota. Bola Tinubu was in Abiyokota Ogun State on Thursday, June 29, to visit the Alake and Paramount ruler of Egba Land, Obade Dotsun Aremu Badebo. Before his visit to Abiyokota, he had visited the palace of Awujale of Ijebuland or by Siriku Adetona in Ijebode. During his visit to the palace of the Alake land, Alake, Alake of Agba land, Tinubu gave the assurance that he is determined to deliver on all his campaign promises and urged the people to pray for the country. In the report which was made by Daily Post, the president disclosed that the plan was to sneak in and out and that now he knows what it means to be president of the country. He thanked Obagwadebo and others who were present there for the support they gave him during the election and said that despite the narrow scarcity and fuel scarcity, they still delivered. He said, This visit, I didn't know that it would be like this. I only wanted to sneak in and out. Now I know exactly what it is to be a president. It is awesome. Mate, it's been three weeks. Or almost a month actually yeah it has been a month um but come on the hope is recharged right here that hope will never fail that hope will recharge your light please we need your prayers we need your support we need your intervention so that the economic prosperity of this nation being opened up will affect every one of you positively Hmm. The president also urged the people to be united and avoid distractions and expressed hope that the masses will reap the fruit of their labor. Interesting. Um, I mean, the title is a bit misleading, well, I, but in, he did say in his own words that he wanted to know, he wanted to sneak in and out. And now he knows what it's like to be president. Is it the convoy? Is it the traveling? Um, because obviously it seems like he's kind of enjoying himself. Which isn't bad. But yeah, I don't understand that. I really don't understand it. Because it's just been a month. So how can you say, and the thing is, people are just promoting and saying that, you know, he's doing so well as a, as a president. And I'm like, he hasn't done enough or has stayed long enough for us to judge and say, wow, you know, he's doing very well. That's, that doesn't make sense. Um, but yes, as he was in Ogun State, he then gave this, but the speech doesn't really show anything about him learning what it's like to be president. If he went into more detail saying, well, I did this, this and this as president and I understand this, this and this, then we can say, oh, he knows specifically what it's like. Um, and again, it's just a general speech asking us to give our prayers and thanks and everything to make sure that every one of us, we benefit from the economic prosperity of nigeria well he better get to work because right now the policies he's made um or the removal of fuel subsidy the educational um student loan we don't know where where that's going to go we don't know where the updates are with that so i don't really think it helps him or it, it, it makes him like stand out like it doesn't it doesn't really do anything in my personal opinion i don't think it like you're just speaking. Um, funny enough, because when, um, with the celebration of Eid recently, a lot of political um, job seekers, you may say, <laughs> went to visit him at his home, only to find that he wasn't there, but he had already moved. Um, so right now, he, there's a lot of work with his appointments, um, with the people he's removed from office, and the people he's looking to appoint um, different roles within government. That is the exciting, not exciting, but the next sort of ongoing um, job that he has as president. And I think people are actually very keen to see that, especially looking at you know, Emefele, for example, the situation with Emefele and, you know, um, Bawa, we've seen that, okay, fine, we, them being in DSS custody is very, you know, it's not, it's not a good sign, but he's, to the world and to everyone else, it looks like as if 
he's doing something amazing, not knowing that he's have he's had former um office holders in strong positions, the FCC and the CBN, on lock and in custody. So I don't think if that portrays the peace because I think this speech gives off the impression that everything is peaceful, like you know, like a new job role where things are not yet intense, you're just going with the flow. But the president's job and the office of the president is not just any job role. So him downplaying it to look like, oh, you know, it's just going good. We just need your prayers. I, I snuck in and out. The sneaking in and out does not, it does not signify anything positive because it's either it means that he's trying to sneak out of presidency, he's not planning to stay long, or he's trying to sneak in and out of Nigeria. So it's not really giving. But again, as I said, it's like a new job role where things are so peaceful. But it's, it's, that's not what's going on. The people are very upset. You have the pound to the naira as one pound to a thousand naira, which is crazy. You know, and even dollars. So, so imagine how like Nigerians, you know, use the naira or they save. It's like whatever you have the value of your naira and your currency affects the value of your assets. It literally affects so many things. So, like, you know, people are advising, you know what, just save in dollars. It's, it, and it's so embarrassing because we are relying on the strength of... Obviously, dollars are obviously, you know, well-known. but And they're a, a trade standard in the world. We get that. But having to have your currency so devalued that... It's like if you if you choose to invest in your currency, that's literally you setting yourself up for failure. That that is a problem, I think. So you have that going on. You have the fuel scarcity going, and of course, if there's not fuel scarcity, but the expense and the high. I mean, a liter is how much, you know, from like almost a three hundred naira difference from the original price. So you have that going on. Obviously, if fuel is expensive, it means everything else like a ripple effect. Everything else will be um, expensive, and then inflation but anyways put what you think about it in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe